Morning star is a term used frequently in religion, mythology and folk stories meaning different things at different times. The second planet in our solar system is named Venus after the goddess of love and beauty in Greek mythology. Because of its frequent appearance in the early morning sky, it is called a morning star. However, there is a paradox. It is not a star at all. It is only a planet. And its appearance is not necessarily exclusively associated with the mornings. Sometimes it can appear in the evening on the western sky. Since it is the second star and our earth is the third, it will be closer to the sun than earth. That is why it always remains closer to the sun when looked from earth. That explains why it can appear before sunrise in the morning or after sunset in the evening. Venus is the third brightest object in the sky after sun and moon. When Venus is closer to earth, it can even make shadows on the ground. Can you imagine a day so long it is longer than a year? That is what happens with Venus. In terms of earth days or earth years, you know it takes 225 days for Venus to go all around the Sun. However, it takes 243 days to Venus to spin around its axis. Pretty odd, isn't it? Most humans are right-handed. However, there is a significant minority that is left-handed. We accept it. But do you know there is a handedness among the planets too? Most of the planets, including Earth, rotates anti-clockwise when looked from the North Pole on the top, which is the exception. Venus. Venus rotates clockwise. Means the Sun rises on the west in Venus, whereas all the other planets, including us, our Earth, Sun rises in the east. Venus is called Earth's sister planet. Even though it doesn't behave like a Mother Earth at all. But its size is almost the same as that of Earth. Its mass is essentially the same as that of Earth. And the chemical composition is sort of same as that of Earth. But there ends the similarity. Earth rotates on its axis at an angle 23 degrees. This angle, whereas Venus rotates or spins on a straight axis, means there cannot be much weather change in Venus. Rain clouds on Earth's sky is the harbinger of good times. Rain, which you can show beautiful rainbows and a time for planting the seeds and ultimate prosperity. And there are clouds on Venus too. You know, if that rains on the ground of Venus, what it will be? It will be sulfuric acid. Have you heard about miracles happening in the daylight, daytime, stars appearing in the sky? Amazing! But you know, that is not a star. It is the planet Venus. Have you seen it? I will tell you how to see it. Before telling the technique or trick of seeing the Venus, let me talk something very personal for me. I used to wonder about the stars and the moon and sun and everything uh, because I was maybe 10 or 12 years old at that time and my poor, uneducated, unassuming father taught me the trick to see planet Venus in daytime. Trick is simple. You wait for a day when moon is like a crescent, only part. 
and in the morning sky look for a day when moon is close to the planet venus make a mental picture of the orientation of venus to the moon as day advances that will change a little bit still have a mental picture then later in the day maybe around 10 or 11 look in the sky don't look for venus look for the moon the crescent of the moon and it is better if there is a bright day it's better to look from under the shade of a tree or something once you locate the moon look at the area you made the mental picture of the venus look carefully you will be able to see a tiny spot that is venus if you ever plan to go an extra terrestrial exploration or a tour when you come back make sure you don't confuse earth with venus as i said they look alike they weigh alike and uh, their chemical compositions are similar but the pressure on venus is extremely high 100 times that of atmospheric pressure on earth or the pressure you will feel 1 km under water also there is no oxygen on the atmosphere of venus there is a lot of carbon dioxide means enhance the greenhouse effect trapping all the heat in fact venus is the hottest planet on earth even though mercury is the closest to sun that is because of this carbon dioxide greenhouse effect so again make sure by mistake you don't end up reaching venus our mother earth is really missing you want it to be back as early as possible this is our home if you like this video share subscribe and tell your friends thank you